I love Nigeria. I'm not going to lie. And I miss home <laughs> a lot. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, I sent you the interview that I had, right? I, when yeah. I was talking about, you know, uh, Nigerians in, 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 the, in the diaspora, they have um, their, their implements of change. You know, they would contribute towards change back at home. Um, I miss home. You know, I, I always That's say perfect. to... What? I'll come back home. I will come back home. I'm coming pretty soon, hopefully. You know, um, I like Canada. The truth is, I, I chose Canada. I can't live in any other country outside of Nigeria besides Canada. Like, it had to be Canada for me. You know, Canada right. is, for me, is that country that the, the Bible talks about. I'm not, I'm not trying to be religious here, but the, the okay. system of Canada and the, the way that the country is and is, 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 is my ideal safe place. It's, it's, a, it's a place where I can call home, you know, and not to throw shade at the Americans and stuff like that, but um, I, 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 couldn't, I couldn't live there, you know. I couldn't live there. So Canada is very family-oriented, right? Canada is, is, is peaceful. You don't see us going to war where, like, they have they go for peacekeeping, right? That's what you see. The Canadian, if the, if there's war somewhere, we're not going to go bomb somewhere and stop. I'm not. I don't want to go and put myself in trouble now. But it's always peacekeeping. We're always looking for ways to, you know, bring people together. You know, and and the way that the system is, it also um um it also kind of shows that in the way that the government cares for its citizens, right? It shows it in the healthcare, right? I don't know if you know much about but the healthcare. We Americans, are, I mean, I'm sure a lot of them are very jealous of us because we have free health healthcare. Do you know that it's not until you fall sick that you will understand that is in fact eh, there's nothing good health is wealth. I always yeah, tell yeah. people that. But when you have to worry about being sick and then the finances then uh, yeah. yeah so it's just it's such a safe place i'll give you an example even this covid period i know a lot of businesses that had to shut down and the government is giving them good money you know a lot of uh even just the entrepreneurs not like they even have a a, a, a structure or a visible business but they can show that this is what i do the government took care of them and the benefit the way that they care for you know the the, the 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 is it uh people with disability and you know people stuff like that i don't want to use the wrong I, I, words right yeah. are you trying to persuade me to become a canadian citizen I'm, I'm, I'm oh it would be a privilege <laughs> honestly i always say to people that being in canada is such a privilege i don't take it for granted because luckily for me it's a country that has given me a bit more more than my country where I come from, you know, but I'm not a person. I always, I like to look at what can I do for my country rather than what my country will do for me. But not everyone has that mindset, right? So for Canada, honestly, eh, let me tell you the truth. Let me tell you the truth. Okay. When I, when I sing the um, Canadian anthem or when it's playing, I actually cry. And I'm not saying this to be, I cry. And that is, is, is tears of, not, not now, because I just did my makeup. I'm not in the mood to cry. I have, I have a, a photo shoot in the next uh, one hour, 30 minutes. So I, I always cry because it's, it's when I'm, like, I never felt that before, but it's such a beautiful feeling. And I tell you what, recently, July 25th, when we had the National Diaspora Day to celebrate Nigerians in diaspora, when it was, um, it was on Zoom, it was about almost 3,000 people connected. You know, a lot of the Nigerian leaders were there and stuff. When they sang, they sang the, we sang the Nigerian anthem. I, I, I almost cried, but I got emotional, but I did not cry. So <laughs> I, said to, I said to one of the, the executives, I was like, yeah. I'm actually happy. It's a good feeling. Yeah. For me to feel this way about them, that's how I, I, want to, I want to cry when I'm, singing the Nigerian anthem because I'm that passionate about my country because, you know, I think it's going to come, but it's going to happen organically. I don't like to, you know, I don't like things. I don't like to force things. Let it just flow. So, yeah, we're getting there at least.
enough of these Canadian things. Okay. Oh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I, I'm going to be. I'm going to be a Canadian. Don't worry. You, you've persuaded me. <laughs> Good luck to you. It's All it's right. very so, easy, um, actually. Yeah, you. Yeah, you being you being a youth leader. What, what do you think? Um, how do you communicate to the youth if there's a dispute or there's a problem? How do you do that? Do you have like a technique you use or something? Maybe you slap your head like. One time or, <laughs> That's you know, a like, good question. You, Honestly, I'm, um, I've tried in the past few years to make myself relatable and accessible to my fellow, to my community. And when I say my community, my community is the Nigerian community in Canada, the African community in Canada, the Calgarians, everybody, both Asians, Caucasians, Caribbeans, everybody, right? Yeah. So where I'm not just a youth leader to only nigerians i'm a global youth leader right and it is my it is my responsibility to make myself relatable and accessible i'm not i'm not i'm very strict but i understand that everybody every individual has their uniqueness so you have to approach every individual you know you have to first study observe and say okay what is this person's if I would use the word love language, how do I communicate with this person? Some people just want you to go straight, boom, boom, boom. Some people want you to break it down. Some people would understand with picture or you giving them scenarios and stuff like that. So it all depends. But usually when there's an issue, when there's stuff, when there are things going on, I like to take my time to educate myself about the topic, what is happening, and I'm not a judgmental person. I am also not a sentimental person, right? A lot of people will come to me and say, oh, my child is sick. Can you send me this, 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 this? I'm like, you think I don't sometimes have my child being sick or have needs? And Come on, man. That's not, don't come to me and say, because truth is, people know that I'm a family person. Like, I love, 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 love family. Family is very important to me, you know. I don't joke with kids. I don't joke with moms. I don't joke with siblings. You know, the same way I treat my family, that's how I want to treat the, fa the siblings and the parents of my friends, right? Are you, are, you, are you in a relationship right now? That's a tricky question. Do you want, the, do you want a sincere... Do you, want a, do you want an honest answer or do you want a political answer? I'm a boy extra. We like, we like just to see her. Yeah. <laughs> Evil like gist. <laughs> like, like, I've never I've never had a conversation about a relationship before. But right. there is somebody that there's someone that I like and yeah, so in my there. head in my head I'm in a relationship. Yeah. But that might be a different situation. I don't know. But <laughs> yeah, there is someone that <laughs> okay, have you ever been in a situation where yeah, you might just be the only one in the relationship. It's very possible. So Why? they know they know finish. Of course. No, no. The truth is, we both like each other, right? We both like each other, but I don't know. I don't know. I, you guys, but you guys are, uh, you are, you are, um, I'm very weird when it comes to relationship. I'm telling you. Do you know how I break up? I just stop talking to the person. That's how I break up. <laughs> <laughs> one of my, my one of my very good friend is here. She she was my roommate in in university. Her name is Uju. Yeah, you know, so that. she's here. So anything that, I say, that. Uju can verify. <laughs> she's in.